Well, Sparksy, obviously we're, we're here in Austria, um, a couple of weeks into pre-season too. For, for you and the goalkeepers, how has this trip been to start with and, and pre-season in general? Okay, I guess starting with this trip, we've been here two days now. So um, for the keepers, the first one was just with, with the team, a little bit of uh, warm-up activation. Um, and then they, they're having a little tournament at the moment, uh, football tennis. So uh, they were very competitive in that. Uh, that was yesterday. And then we got back into the real training today, uh, preparing for the game against Leipzig on Saturday. So uh, the last two weeks have been very intense uh, for the keepers. Obviously a new group as well. Uh, so it's a little bit about getting to know each other and for me to get to know them in person as well. Uh, but yeah, the environment's been great. They've been, you know, absolutely fantastic. So uh, yeah, we uh, we keep going. We've really enjoyed seeing these little competitions that you've got going on at the start of sessions. How important are they, A, for the goalkeepers and getting back into the swing of things again? But like you said, it's a new group and I imagine it helps them to, to get to know each other. Yeah, absolutely. I think w when you have a new group, you know, you need to try and get them to bond as quick as possible. Um, and, you know, the, the competitive nature that they all are to be, you know, professional, you know, footballers. Um, you know, I like just to put a little bit of competition in, if it's football, tennis, um, if it's a little box at the start, if it's a relay race, um, because, yeah, as I said, they, they want to compete, even the smallest little things. And, you know, I think back in Staplewood, we, we, we made a competition, the losing team buys us uh, coffee in, in Austria. So, uh, yeah, looking forward to the guys taking us out for that. I know we've spoken about it being a new group. Obviously, Matthias and, and Gavin joined over the summer. How have they been to work with and, and how are they settling in? Yeah, they're, they're fantastic to, to work with. They settled in really well. Uh, and I think, obviously, having Willie and Alex um, to help them settle in uh, is, is, a, is a massive factor for, for the group being so tight so far. Um, you know, with, with Willie especially, you know, his experience that he's had over you know, his career, you know, he's, he's worked with hundreds of different goalkeepers. So for him, um, you know, he can help them, you know, settle in on and off the pitch. And, you know, for, for the lads then to have that kind of support network within the goalkeeper group is, is massive for us. Is it the perfect group on paper? Looking at it, you've, you've got a bit of everything in terms of ages and experience levels. Yeah, I think it's a really good mixture. Um, you know, that you, you can build a group however you want, but I think with our group at the moment, you know, you've got Gavin, who's the youngest, who's at 20, and you've got Willie, who's at 40. So, you know, there's, there's a, 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 you know, a big uh, difference in age, um, but at the same time, they're still competing against each other. You know, Willie, you know, he's not here just to make the numbers up. He wants to play. He, he tasted it back in the Premier League last year. So his mindset is to compete for that number one jersey, the same as Gavin, same as Alex and same as Mateus. So, you know, it, it's healthy competition. Um, but again, I think the, the competition is all what they need to, to try and drive themselves forward. How much do you have to, to kind of manage that dynamic? Because, you know, it's, it's the old adage, isn't it, that goalkeeper, there's it's only one position on the field that they can play. So it's four doesn't go into one. Yeah, it's very difficult, um, but we, we had a meeting at the start of the year, the four goalkeepers and myself, to really set out what we want from our environment. Um, and yeah, we addressed the elephant in the room of one position for, for the four goalkeepers. But, you know, we all agreed that, you know, we need to, you know, help and support each other, but also respect who's playing. Um, and I think that was really important to address right at the start of the season. Yes, come the first game day, there's going to be three disappointed goalkeepers um, but we you know we talk about the respect quite a lot and for the ones who aren't playing it's to show up every day in training um, and to, to show that they should be number one but also when it comes to game day it's about supporting the number one goalkeeper um, and look the, the season's long there's, there's lots of competitions that we're in as well um, and, and like last year we used three goalkeepers so you know just because they're not starting the first game of the season doesn't mean they're going to play um, any part in the season so it's important that they're all ready um, and that means by training well as well. Obviously whilst we're here there's, there's two games the first being on Saturday against against Leipzig is this a moment as well where pre-season goes up a notch I imagine it's, it's hard to to replicate that kind of game experience. Yeah I think two, two or three weeks of, of training without really a game at the end of it yeah is, is kind of difficult in terms of yeah you, you want to be preparing for games but now the games have come around uh, you know, we have five games in the next few weeks, so this this is the, the time for me where it really kind of uh, kicks through into the season, uh, you know, that competitive edge. Everyone's then playing for their places, trying to impress the, the manager and the coaching staff. Uh, so, yeah, for me, it's about making sure that they're ready for these pre-season games performing, 
Um, and then obviously we have to make a decision come uh, the first game of the season.